Okay, so here we have the Niwa G2 Action Cam 4K. Niwa's third action cam following the GO and G1. Uh, with a price less than £70, does this camera stand up on its own in the action cam market? Let's take a look. Okay, so in the basic package you get various mounts for car window mounting, bicycle handlebars and others. You get a micro USB charging lead, but you don't get a micro HDMI lead. But to be honest, as it records to SD card, you don't really need one. You also get a waterproof case as standard. Basically everything you need to get started is right in the box, bar a memory card. You will need to supply your own card as with all cameras and this will ideally need to be a class 10 card. I bought the SanDisk Extreme 64GB micro SDXC card, link is in the description. It only set me back £12 and this gives the speed to record 4K without a problem. More on this later though. So let's see what the G2 offers us. The camera itself is small and lightweight. I'd imagine it shares the same dimensions as a GoPro and most mounted accessories would also share the same design. I have never used a GoPro so I can't be positive on that but all the action cams tend to lend themselves to each other quite nicely from what I've read and seen. To turn it on you press and hold the mode button. It starts up very quickly indeed albeit with a quite annoying startup sound. The camera is ready to start recording straight away which is very convenient for catching action as it happens. In the settings you can also select which mode the camera starts up in. For example if you're only using this camera as a dash cam then you select the car looping option. This way whenever you start the device up not only is it in dash cam mode but it automatically starts recording video which is great because it saves you faffing about before every trip. Let's take a look at some other modes. So, normal video is exactly what it sounds like. You press OK to start recording and press again to stop. Video recording is available in a few resolutions as follows. 4K, 30 frames per second. 2.7K, 30 frames per second. 1440p, 30 frames or 60 frames. 1080p, 30 frames or 60 frames. 720p 30 frames 60 frames and 120 frames per second you have time lapse photo mode which is available to take photos of time lapse with intervals of 1 2 5 10 30 and 60 seconds this is obviously great for the time lapse uh, fanatics out there if that tickles your fancy there is slow motion video this is cool but there's no option to set the speed my guess is it records at 120 frames per second and then automatically slows it down for playback but i can't be sure you basically shoot something and when you play it back it'll be in slow-mo already cool you have normal photo mode which is self-explanatory you can choose to take shots in 12 megapixels 8 megapixels 5 megapixels and 3 megapixels resolution choice is yours we have auto photo mode from what i can work out this just takes photos constantly until you press stop not the same as burst shot though as it only takes a shot every few seconds not quite sure what you use this for exactly but it's there you got time in photo mode which is a self timer this has options of 3 5 10 and 30 seconds so that's plenty of time for you to jump in front of the camera and get a selfie and we have car looping mode which is a dash cam feature works well and resolution is clear enough to see number plates etc i use it for this feature and i have no qualms with it at all all right so in this quick clip right here you see a motorbike overtake me speeding in a 40 zone but even in 1080p we can freeze frame and get his number plate if we should have needed it and this quick clip here is just showing the glare that you get from headlights um, doesn't really affect anything it actually makes it look quite cool <laughs> uh, and in in 4k because I imagine you still be able to see the number plates I'm recording 1080 here because I forgot to switch it uh, but it looks pretty cool anyway um, I could do a wipe in the lens probably but there you go all right we have video and photo mode this records video while also taking photos simultaneously I've noticed it's around 18 photos per minute, so I suppose it's uh, useful for... I have no idea why. 
but another feature if you should need it. And finally we have burst shot mode. This takes burst shots at around 10 shots per second. You press the OK button once and it takes the shots automatically so you don't have to keep it pressed. That's cool. Okay, so the video resolution is fine for the price, but don't expect awesome. It works well as a dash cam and an action camera, but if you're looking for a small vlogging camera, I'd pay the extra and go with a GoPro or another camera. It's nowhere near the quality of a GoPro, but then again, the price is nowhere near it either. So for the price, it is pretty good. The 4K video seems to be pretty good. Uh, there's definite improvement over the HD, uh, the 1080. You can definitely get more clarity there. Inside is quite grainy, but outside is nice and clear. And if you freeze frame, uh, you can see all the clarity of the bricks. The only improvement needed is the shutter speed. It seems to be that it's not high enough, so it's not very smooth video. Low light handling is acceptable, especially if using as a dash cam as I am. You can see things clearly enough, so no gripes there. A feature I like is the built-in stabilizer. You do get a slight crop with this, but it's worth it for the handheld shots. All right, 4K test. This is me walking and talking without the stabilizer on. So this should be quite wobbly, I would think. So what I'll do is I'll try and so I'll put the stabilizer on now and see if it makes a difference. So if you want to use it for vlogging, uh, this is basically what it what it will come out like. Give you a little view of that. All right, stabilizer is on. I don't know if this is coming out any different. I'd imagine it's cropped a little bit, but otherwise it should be looking good. So let's have a look around. This is an old ruin of a iron ore place. But this year, let's go right up the top. I won't see me climbing that. 1872. It says right there. So on. I'm looking at the screen here and it looks like really good quality but obviously the screen is like one and a half inch so obviously it's um it's gonna look good on here we'll see when i get in and the edit what the quality is actually like let's do a steady shot here looks like it's quite steady but again we'll see in the edit all right this is a 1080p uh 60 frames per second vlogging or vlogging test um, audio test as well as uh, visually excuse the mess in the kitchen but um this is me with the light behind the camera so i should be lit decently let me change so i'm backlit see what i'm like now so i'm backlit by the window now i don't know how much detail you can see in my face I need to clean the lens i think let's do a 4k test all right so this is a 4k test um, vlogging test and audio test. Can you hear me? Testing, testing, one, two. So uh, now the window's behind me, the light source is on me, so I should be lit quite well. Let's turn it around. So the light source is now behind me. How do I look? Can you see my face? I'll have to look in the edit. So let's do that. Okay, a note on SD cards. As I mentioned earlier, you'll need a fast card for this camera as you would on any camera, especially a 4K camera. At first I used a normal micro SD card, which although it will work, the video will freeze every few frames. Each freeze lasts for about five frames. This of course brings problems besides being very annoying to watch back. Something critical could happen during those frames if using as a dash cam. So make sure you get a decent card. Link below for the one that I bought for 12 pound. All right, the camera comes with a number of mounts, most of which are wasted on me as I'm not a sporty kind of guy, but these will probably sort out most of your action cam needs. Most of them, I must be honest, I don't even know what they are for. It does come with two sticky back mounts for securing to the windshield of your car, although mine actually fell off twice, so that wasn't good. It wasn't the fault of the M3 tape on the windshield itself, that stayed stuck on. The backing actually came off the actual mount, which was kind of odd. There is a spare in the pack though, and one of them even has a three quarter inch screw hole. Also included in the pack is two double sided sticky pads. So that is awesome that they included those. Another cool feature is the remote control. It comes equipped with a Velcro strap to put on your wrist or handlebar, etc. That way you can take photos and even start and stop video with the press of a button. I keep mine strapped to my handbrake. That way I can start or stop the video before I set off and when I park up. 
Also, if you are using it as a dash cam, you can go into the settings and toggle the inversion switch. This flips the screen upside down as you will have to mount the camera upside down. So this ensures that your recorded image is the right way up. The battery is removable, so you can get yourself some spares by contacting Niwa as I can't seem to find them online anywhere. And lastly is a waterproof case. This has a mount already attached for quick securing to the car window or your bike handlebars. They even included a spare back door for the case. Awesome. So all in all, this camera is a good buy if you're on a budget and want a decent all-round action cam for your hobbies or even your kids' activities. At this price, you won't have to worry too much about loss or damage. If you're looking for a dash cam, I highly recommend it. It would definitely meet your needs in that area. I think this would make an awesome Christmas present for your kids too and may take them away from consoles and inspire them to be and think creatively. You never know. I'd have loved one of these as a kid, as I was a big camera fan even back then. Anyway, I'm out. If you liked this review, click the thumb up below, sub if you want, share, comment, and if you have any questions, put them down below. And keep safe, keep real. Peace.